first time I had some money was in 1984. Yeah, when I come out of the Olympics, they gave me a $250,000 bonus. Hmm. And you're talking about a guy who used to make $8,000 a year, wow. put 40 hours a week. I'd make $5 an hour. That's, you know, I'm going to make $8,000 a year. Now, all of a sudden, I go to the Olympics. Because of the controversy, the qualification, they made it bigger than life. And because I handled it well, everybody wanted, wanted to sign me. So I get the $250,000 bonus. And, you know, and I remember at the time my girlfriend said, we rich. And I looked at her and I, we got a lot of money, but me personally, I know we ain't rich. Because I, I, I would like to have more than this. Now, if I'm just going to stay here and then stay in this little bit of place where I have and, and live my life on this for the rest of my life, I guess we could be. But, you know, I, I just knew that life was all about growing. So, and the worst mistake I made at that time is that if it, it took eight, I spent $8,000 eight a year. I spent $8,000 in one day. <laughs> and that's when I realized that, you know what? You know, you get sucked into it, buying everything. Because cause I was poor, and then, you know, I went to certain stores. As soon as I got that, that $250,000, I went to I went to Linux. I went to a place I'd never been before. And, and all of a sudden, I didn't know what quality was, so I just thought quality was something that I couldn't afford. So anything that cost a lot of money, I bought. And I was so embarrassed that when when the bill came up to eight thousand dollars, I paid it. And I went, I got in my car with the, the clothes and stuff. I called my sister. Couldn't get her on the phone. Cause my sister, my sister, them the only one that would buy something and take it back. <laughs> I went, you know, I buy something, I, you know, I'd be embarrassed to take I'm it back. Anyway. So you know, I would have called my sister. My sister then would ask for. I would have my sister go take my, get my money back because I didn't really get it for myself. See, because I went to the mall with a couple girls, mm -hmm. and I was trying to impress them girl, like I knew. What was fashion and all that, and I bought all this stuff for the wrong reason. And the, you know, to show you how sad it was, because I didn't buy them nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but when it all was said and done, I, <laughs> they got in their car, they went their way, and I sit there in my car just and and said, oh man, why would I do this? I know what's wrong. And I'm trying to call my sister, because I'm going to tell my sister, go, go get my money back. I don't want this stuff, cause, cause, I was already Evander Holyfield, and I didn't need nobody to say, you know, you got these hundred dollar pants and all that. But man, I bought socks, had socks cost thirty five dollars. You know, for a pair of socks. Yeah. And you know, I'm like, I bought everything that was expensive, eight thousand dollars worth of just clothes. You know, I wasn't happy about that. It's the most foolish thing in the world. But you know. But cost them girls were there, and I want them to feel that I was more than what I was. I had, and the only thing I do is look at the price, look at the price, the highest price, and all this. And they, you know, it's amazing how people go, "Wow!" Now they ain't think about what you buy them. They just they, oh man, he doing it big, and I just spending all that money and all that. But that, that's a that's the first and last time I ever did something. Mm -hmm. Now I, I do that.